Hello everybody and welcome to my first video about uh, where I'll chronicle the build of a super mini ITX system. This system is designed to show off the uh, Styrix GTX 960 board and uh, I just got, I just was watching everybody on the web and they're all talking about the 980 and the 970 thinking those cards are all the bomb for 4k gaming and I, I agree that 4k gaming is is really the future of what we're all looking at but uh, let me tell you a little bit about this I'll have the description of all the parts that I used to build this system inside the description of this video so um, let's take a look first I use the raid max atomic uh, case this is a very very small case and a very nice aluminum case with some some plastic uh, on it but uh, let's get to the video card which is the uh, Cyrix overclocked 2 gigabytes of DDR5 memory and this card's running at uh, a very nice 1615 megahertz so extremely overclocked in fact it's so overclocked that I can't uh, with the software be able to ramp it up anymore um, I have to set the fans here uh, manually because the the, CP the GPU runs so cool that uh, they never turn on um, and I need uh, to I've overclocked the memory as well so I need to uh, keep those cool uh, so that, those run at about 40% at all time. Um, so let's take this off. As you can see, let's give you a little closer look there. Kind of made a custom shroud for it. So be able to, to hide some of the, uh, or direct the air where I want it to go. Um, just kind of take that off there. And there you are. It is uh, on the system. Got to put that back. And this is just simply Velcroed onto the top. Real nice clean look. Very factory look. But you can see the pipe coming along the back end of it. And kind of spin this around a little bit. You'll see the, here the, uh, it's a little dark. But you can see I have the radiator and everything on it. Now the system and it's a push-pull configuration. Uh, the system I'm using the uh, Raiden DDR3 memory at 3200, uh, really nice. The um, motherboard is fine. I'm using an i7 with a standard uh, heat sink on there for the CPU. Doesn't get doesn't get all that hot. It's, uh, but the major thing is the video card right now, and that's what I'm focusing on this video, is the fact that I'm able to achieve some impressive numbers with uh, overclocking this 960 uh, OC, two uh, gigabytes of memory, and uh, doing it safely and consistently without any uh, problems uh, with the system. In fact, you can see here, I can get it to zoom in, show you I'm not calling bullshit, but uh, there you go right there, uh, 1615, and again, that is as high as I can clock it up. I'm at 43 hertz, and I'm running right now the Valley, which uh, Two Cents likes to use as their benchmark test, and uh, I'll hit benchmark there. So it's going to run its benchmark. And you can see I'm running about 64, 65 frames per second here, and you'll see it towards the end. Let's see if I can get the bottom here. That's uh, pretty crappy. Uh, can't really see it. But it is benchmarking and it is looking gorgeous it's not tearing ripping or anything now this is on um, I believe I've got it on ultra right now and uh, 
everything is is working pretty well. I'll show you the links to the the system, but it is just gorgeous. And this is on a 960 card, guys. Water cooled 960 Cirrix uh, with custom shrouding on that and uh, mounting inside this tiny, tiny, tiny case. Um, and I've got a two terabyte drive mounted at the bottom. Uh, my memory the ASUS i97 Plus board, which is an extremely efficient and extremely awesome board. Uh, all water-cooled uh, and a push-pull configuration. And uh, so we're about halfway through the benchmark and I'm showing 43 degrees. And again, my memory is absolutely maxed out on ben with the program I'm using to uh, overclock and my graphics card is insanely overclocked, uh, the GPU is. So come back down, so right now in ultra mode, we're running 70 frames per, just under 70 frames per, and uh, just about done with this. But uh, as you can see, it is, it's not tearing, there's no artifacting. Um, Bang for the buck, the 960 card has for 60 bucks. You can upgrade that card, make it a water cooled card, and uh, just absolutely um, blow yourself out of the water. Um, this system is so well designed and so well put together that uh, the stability is just perfect. So, we're getting towards the end of this. Uh, sorry, I'm just kind of killing some time there as we kind of run through it but uh, doesn't look so good on my my camera I'm sorry but still I'm at 67.8 now I'm not a hundred frames or 80 frames at the 970 would be at but this is with the filters on this is with everything going and there we are popped up at the end you guys can see this as well there you go. And it says Windows 8, but this is actually Windows 10 um, that I have on this. And uh, there you go. There's the proof that you can build an uber effective system with that 960 card and uh, save yourself a couple hundred bucks. So um, go ahead and do it.